First UFC win under your belt, but you're wasting little time and getting back to action. Tell me, I mean, did you push for this? Why, why, why the uh, such a quick rebooking? Uh, you know, after the fight uh, ended on Saturday, I flew back on Sunday, and then I got a call from my managers on Monday. And um, I, I'm familiar with the matchup. You know, I'm familiar with all the guys in the welterweight division, just doing my homework on everybody all the time, just to pick up techniques and things. So I've watched all of Sergio's fights before. Um, I was familiar with, you know, his style and and how he is as a fighter. So, um, you know, I did have to think about it for a little bit. I talked to some uh, c my coaches and things like that before making the, the decision. But shortly after getting the call, I said, yeah, I want the fight and accepted it. I mean, you came in on short notice the first time. So was there any party that said, you know, I, I mean, do you consider this a full training camp or do you consider this kind of short notice as well? Uh, you know, I was able to take a couple days off and then still get a full training camp. So even though I'm a, I'm a late replacement, um, I feel like I'm very well prepared for this one. Um, you know, I got a full training camp in. I'm ready to go. Talk about the feel this time around. I wonder because uh, I guess is this kind of more the full experience this time or does it feel like, you know, you, you already understand all this and it's new? What, what is this? How, you know, how does it compare to the first time around? Yeah, the first time around was pretty hectic. You know, uh, I had less than two weeks really to get all my medicals in and all that kind of stuff. So uh, this one f felt much, much more comfortable. Um, kind of take my time with my training and and uh, getting prepared for the trip and everything down here to Brazil. Um, it, it feels good. You know, uh, it's pretty exciting to get a chance to fight out of the country for once, and uh, everything's been going pretty smoothly. What about the challenge, uh, you know, sometimes making the long trip, like you said, getting used to the weather, the food, everything like that, you know, has it been a challenge at all for you or has, or has everything felt comfortable? No, we're in a, a really good part of the city where there's lots of food options and things. Uh, I was able to get in a day early. I've been here since Monday morning getting adjusted. Um, the flight wasn't too bad seeing it was a direct flight that I had right from Chicago into Sao Paulo. So um, everything's going as smooth as it could possibly be going for fighting as far away as I am. You talked about Sergio. Break him down. What do you see, man? We know, obviously, that he's a fantastic jiu-jitsu artist, but, but what, what do you see when you look at him? Uh, what, what do you see as an opponent? Yeah, uh, like you said, awesome competitor, um, great jiu-jitsu practitioner. You know, a lot of times, even if he's losing in these fights, he'll come back hard in the third round and able to, to get the win. Um, he's, he's shown to be hard to put away. Um, you know, he's had some knockdowns, but he keeps coming back. So, um, it's going to be a tough fight. You know, he's got a good record in the UFC, but I think I just bring more well-rounded approach to the game. And uh, I don't think anybody in the welterweight division moves like I do with my switching stances. Um, I think my movement's going to be very hard for him to pick up on, and uh, I see it being an early night. Certainly no joke with your grappling game as well, but I wonder, with a guy like Sergio, I mean, is there a part of you that wants to test your jiu-jitsu and get in there with him, or do you realize, hey, this is a world champ, I'm better off trying to avoid that game? Uh, I feel comfortable wherever the fight goes, and I never come in with too much of a forcing game plan in any one discipline. I'm just going to go wherever the fight goes, and I'll be fine. A win here, you know, that'd be two wins in the UFC. This is a name opponent, to say the least, not that the first one wasn't, but uh, in a very, very short span. I mean, where would this take you, and you know, what would your goals be after picking up a win here? Yeah, uh, you know, getting that first win against Berkman, uh, I'm probably not going to be thrown in right away against... My next fights will be against low-tier fighters. That just won't happen. I'm going to be in the middle of the pack or, or above that. So uh, here I am, you know, uh, fighting another tough opponent. And a win over this would start to put me right where I want to be, you know, uh, talking about that top 25, top 30 uh, matchups and things. When you play this one out in your head, visualize it. How do you see this one going down on Saturday? Uh, I see it late first round TKO. I'm going to take my time a little bit, figure them out. But uh, I think my shots are going to find uh, where they need to, and I'm going to start picking them apart.